This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I fix sharp edges when sculpting? So this question was sent in with this image, and you can see these sharp edges being generated on the mesh here. Now this can happen a lot with model topology when doing projections or using a brush with back face masking off, and that will sometimes generate surface effects like this. So how can we go by and remove some of this artifacting inside a ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a quick sample model here that consists of various mesh issues. So here we have some topology that's sticking into itself. We have some areas on the mesh that have some holes in it. And then we also have some topology that consists of a lot of poles, so a single vertice that's connected by multiple edges. So how can you alleviate some of these issues if they appear on your model? So the first one we're gonna talk about is this one here with that intersecting geometry. And sometimes this happens when you're doing projections on your mesh, so if you have two surfaces that are close to each other, they'll sometimes project through each other. The first thing you wanna to do to alleviate this is first wanna come through and turn on double-sided. So I'm gonna to navigate to the tool palette here. I'm gonna open up display properties and I'm just gonna turn on double. And this is gonna allow you to see that resulting problem area on your mesh a little bit better. Now after you have this isolated, and you can kind of see it like so, we can now come in and just try to start smoothing this out. So we're just gonna hold down shift and smooth across that surface there. Now sometimes this will allow you to get that problem area fixed instantly. Other times you may have geometry that's embedded really deep in there and it's gonna take a lot of smoothing to get that process smoothed out. So some tips for this are first, we can switch to the inflate brush. So I'm gonna go to my brush menu here and I'm gonna locate the inflate brush by isolating by the letter I and I'm just gonna select inflate. And I'm gonna come across that problem area there on the mesh and just inflate it out. This is gonna expand that surface a little bit. And after I've done some inflating, I'm gonna hold shift again and just smooth it out and inflate and smooth and inflate and smooth. And that's gonna allow you to polish that problem area out on your model. Now, if you wanna keep the details you had before you did this polishing, we can undo this process to get back to that original version with that interpenetrating geometry. And I'm just gonna duplicate the subtool. So I'm gonna to go to the subtool palette over here and just duplicate it. So I have two versions of the mesh with this problem now. I'm just gonna select one of these guys and turn the other off. And now I'm gonna apply that fix again. So smoothing it out, inflating, smoothing it out, inflating, and just getting like that. And now I'm just gonna mask this area. So I'm gonna hold control and apply a masking effect to that area there. And then I'm gonna flip the mask by holding control and clicking off the model, which will do an inverse mask selection there. And then I'm just gonna do a project from that version we duplicated. So I'm gonna make sure that version is still active. I'm gonna to go to the project option here. I'm gonna set my distance to 0.1 and then simply do a project all. Now this is just going to project to the unmasked area of the model there. So if I hide the one with the defect and now unmask, you can see this is the other version there that had the problem fixed and then had the details projected back. And so I come in and just clean up a little bit there and I'm still keeping that original sculpting I had. So you can always do this project function to come through and clean up that mesh on the one and then project those details back and then refine from there if needed. Now another thing that helps for alleviating different mesh errors is using the alternate smoothing brush. So if I come through and start smoothing on my model and say there's a pole right here, you're gonna see I'm not gonna be able to get this pole to even out along that surface there. So if I start smoothing by holding shift and clicking and then release shift but don't release the pressure off the pen and continue smoothing, you're gonna see it's gonna apply a polish effect. So I'm able to polish through any of that geometry there that contains a pole. So if I come to this area here and I just smooth like normal, you can see it's still giving me this pinched part of geometry right here. But if I hold shift and then release shift, it's not gonna do that polish effect. And now I can polish that area out. So if you have a lot of poles on your model when dealing with models with triangles, you can always use that alternate smoothing functionality. So shift, then release shift and continue smoothing and it'll do a polish effect. So that'll help you get rid of some of those geometry sculpting areas you may come across as well. Now the last thing that has a geometry area here is this area through here. And this has a hole, so the mesh has a hole in it. So if you come through and hold shift and try to smooth this out, you're not gonna get much results. It's just gonna pretty much do this and it's gonna leave you with this hole here. 
So one thing you can do is you can change the Min Connect slider for your smooth brush. So if we go to the brush menu up here and open this up, and then down at the bottom you have a smooth brush modifiers, we can change this Min Connect slider. So I'm just going to scale this all the way down to 1. And this is going to tell ZBrush that I want to perform a smooth on areas that may only have two edges connected to a point. So I'm going to come through and now smooth this, and it's going to allow me to smooth this area, and it's going to expand that hole out. So now instead of that weird little crazy hole thing I had going on there, I now have a more accessible area to fix. And now I can perform something like a close holes. So go to the geometry tab here, go to modify topology, do close holes. That'll seal that hole up. And now I can come through and smooth, and then do that alternate smoothing function, and start fixing that area on the model there as well. So now you can see it's all nice and smoothed out like so. Now finally, if you have an area with really, really rough topology, like this area through here, you can use Z-Remesher along with visibility to Z-Remesh only a portion of your model. So if I want to clean up this area here to sculpt on, I'm just going to hold Control and Shift to get that select rectangle brush drag a square out like so, then I'll press spacebar and hold it down and move it into position and then just release. And now I'm just left with this part of the model. So with just this part of the model visible, I'm going to go to the Z Remesher tab here, open that up. I'm going to turn on Freeze Mesh Borders, which is going to hold the borders along the visible shape here. And I'm going to set my polygon count to something around 5K and then click Z Remesh. So when this is done, you're going to notice that the visible area that was there has been Z-remeshed. So I'm ended up with this nice quadded surface now, rather than the surface I had originally. And since I kept this freeze borders on, you're not going to notice that transition between the other areas of your model. So now I can come through and smooth this out, and I'm not going to have any of those poles that were in there that will distort my mesh as I work on it. So those are some processes you can do to alleviate some of those errors you may come across on your models as you're sculpting. If you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!